Peter and uh, any spirits that are here, we're here for you today. We're going to discuss things. We're going to try to work some out for you. Um, what we do here is for the benefit of everyone and for no offense to anyone. All right. Uh, well, we'll start with a prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive the trespasses against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us today. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And may the oppressive power be dealt with by the heavenly host. By divine prayer of God, cast into hell Satan and all the spirits who roam throughout the world seeking the ruin of men. Amen. Yeah. Lord Jesus, the true light, enlightens every living thing who comes into this world. These candles, I will signify the light and the grace. The wick of each candle symbolizes Christ's soul, and the flame represents his light and path to freedom for us and the spirits. See you, see you. Now this time I will light this candle for for what I'm doing. Blessed be. Alright. Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, send us your blessings. Father Sky, Mother Earth, protect us. Brother Sun, Sister Moon, give us warmth and life energy. Light us the way. Sister Water, Brother Mountain, nourish us and give us life. Totem Spirits, Totems, guardians, <clears throat> please walk with us. I ask the four colors and the four directions to allow us to see clearly in all directions. And I ask the elementals if you would please bring the prayers of our people up with the smoke wherever they need to go. See you soon. <clears throat> Grandfather, I am far from the bones of my ancestors. I am far from the place of my birth. I seek your counsel. And I seek your guidance of wisdom and understanding. I am seeking knowledge and help to allow this angry spirit to have peace. Grandfather, help him find a new home. See you soon. Hello my YouTubians, uh, right now we're trying to help Peter to calm down and like John, move to a better life, We've got a better place. We don't know what that place is, we don't know what that life is, we don't know uh, what he believed while he was alive or, or, or who he followed, but it's got to be better than being angry and being stuck here for 2,000 years. So, so we're going to see if we just can't, uh, can't help him move along. 
and uh, hopefully, uh, because I do not want to turn it into a twisted spirit, and I and I really want this place to be blessed really well. So I'm going to start with the Raptor box and just to see if I can't get a hold of Peter. Hello Peter, are you here? Danny? <laughs> Peter, is that you? It is me. Peter, listen. I don't know what happened to you. I don't know why uh, you're so upset. Can I help you in some way to, to, to get out of here? Yes, I would. Yes, I would. He said, would you? Yes, I would, I would be happy to. Uh, but we need to work together on this, okay? Why do you feel you should... Why, why are you feel that you have to stay here? You're damned. Why are you damned? No. Know what? It's no reason for forgiveness? Did you say no forgiveness? Peter? You still here, buddy? You are? Okay, that's good. Yeah, okay, good. So we had a rough night, eh? Yeah. But I want to help you get out of here, okay? Please? Okay. If it is about forgiveness, in my belief, in my way, and a lot of different beliefs, our Redeemer has said that if you could forgive a spirit or you could forgive somebody of any of their transgressions, yes, so will I. Okay? So the Redeemer says if, if someone forgives you, who's a follower of the Redeemer, the Redeemer will forgive you. Nice, yes. I heard him say Jesus. Yes, Jesus said that too. Yes, Jesus the Redeemer. Yeah. So, Peter, listen up close now. Are you listening, Peter? Sure? Okay. Peter, whatever has done, whatever was bringed, is now forgotten. Whatever happened in the past is in the past, Peter. It's gone, yes, it is gone. Peter. Peter, I forgive you, brother. Yes, I did. I forgive you, brother. I do not want to see you tortured anymore. Whatever sins, whatever sins you pulled, brother, you've long since paid for them. Yes, you have. Yes, you have. You are forgiven, Peter. Would you like, before we leave, to open up a new door for you? Yes, you bet. To open the door of the light so that you can go down the proper path. Yeah, he can. Well, that, do we have your permission to help you move on, Peter? Amen. Amen. <laughs> okay, Peter. Amen it is. We are going to start working on getting you out of here right now. All right, brother, just hang tight. Okay, we're going to get you out of here, man. I promise. Good. Yes, you can go. We'll get you out of here, I swear. Yes. 
You are now civil. We will get you out of here, okay? All right, I'll talk to you in a few minutes. Well, now we need some holy water for the next stage, what we're doing. So I am going to, to bless uh, two types. This water is for the pouring of the prayers. This water is for getting the guardians uh, to help us with what we're doing. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord, Almighty God, who designed us to bless us in Christ, the living water of our salvation, and to be reformed within us. Grant that we have fortified by the sprinkling of water, or the use of water, the youth of the Spirit, being renewed by the power of the Holy Spirit. May we always walk in the newness of life. See you see Blessed are you, Lord, Almighty God, who has designed us to be as in Christ, the living water of our salvation, and we are of his form, and inwardly like him. Grant that we are fortified by the sprinkling, by the use of this water. Keep the youth of the Spirit, and renew us by the power of the Holy Spirit. May we always walk in newness. See you, see ya. But this time I'm going to call upon my helpers and the elders and, and everybody uh, to do these prayers. <clears throat> if uh, If anybody wishes to uh, respond, uh, the answer when I stop is we humbly ask on the first one. This water is for our guardians and our helpers. I call to arms the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost for keeping us safe. Keep us safe, say I say O oh, Father, keep us safe. We humbly ask. I ask for Father Sky and Mother Earth to keep us safe and to help us help others. We humbly ask. I ask Sister Leek. I ask Brother Mountain to help us and keep us and guide us in what we must do. We humbly ask. I ask the four directions and the four colors to guide us. Let us see what's going on. Let us know what's going on and help us to keep our eyes open in the task at hand. We humbly ask. I ask for the totems. I ask for the animals. And of course, I ask for the elementals. To help us in this time to help all these spirits so that they can finally go home. We humbly ask. And lastly, and most importantly, I'd like to ask my friends, Gabriel, Raphael, to please come and help these people find their way. We humbly ask. Hey, uh, 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 hey, hey, uh, hey, uh, And now, for you, Peter, and any spirit that needs this, for all of you, okay? 
I pour this water. I pour this water so that you may find peace. Peace. I pour this water so that you may find freedom. Freedom. I pour this water to give you forgiveness, to have forgiveness, so that your transgressions won't keep you trapped any longer. Forgiveness. I pour this water so that you can be free, so you can go back to your families, find your friends, find your loved ones, and live a life of happiness. Happiness. I pour this water for you so that no one can hold you anymore, and that you find your path, and you go where you belong. You do not belong here. I pour this so that you will no longer have pain. No more pain. And lastly, I pour this so that your heart will once again be light. And that you can walk in the light and not be trapped. I ask this in all that is holy. Peace and light. Hey, Peter. Hello. How are you feeling now, Peter? Peace at peace and good. Awesome. Awesome. Love to you, Peter. You're welcome. Are you ready now to open up a path for you, to open up the light, to let you go through the gateway? Yes, please. <laughs> Are you ready, Peter? Let's go with this. <laughs> any, any parting words you'd like to say first to open the gate for you? No, sir? All right. Go in peace, brother. Go find your family. Go home. Okay? We are? Okay. You go home now, okay? Remember to go through the small gate, okay? That'll be your, that'll be your path. Alright, we'll talk to you soon. You're welcome. Go in peace. Leave me. <laughs> Leave me. Thank you everyone for being here. Uh, for anyone that uh, said the prayers with us, uh, thank you. And you can still say them because the prayers will reach their ears. They'll still hear them. Um, yeah, whenever, whenever uh, we do cases like this, it's, it's very emotional, it's very hard, uh, but it's, it's a lot of joy. Um, fighting back the happy tears. Um, yeah, I, I, we were successful today. Uh, thank you for the spirits, uh, for the elementals, the totems, the four directions, you know, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Um, it's them that do the work. We're just a couple of hammers and an old toolbox. So, uh, anyway, I'm, I, I'm nervous about putting this up. I really hope you guys like this. Uh, if you do, maybe we'll do another one down the road if, if the Council of Nine says we can put another one up. Um, but anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this, and uh, thank you so much for being here and saying the prayers, and uh, blessings to all. Goodbye.